Taking positives from that game, United technically aren't out of the tie. 3-1, we could do something at the Etihad like we did earlier in the season, but let's be honest, that game was not too much of a surprise. United are a shit team. Regardless of any injuries, add injuries on top of it, and it gets worse. And that game tonight was not a surprise. The game between United and City this season that was a surprise was the one where we went and beat them at the Etihad. Tonight, it, at halftime, it was 3-0. It felt like it could have been another 6-1. And I suppose you've got to give the team credit for the fact that it ended up 3-1. Brandon Williams, I think, again, showed his ability at left-back in the toughest of situations. Fred, I thought, played all right in midfield. Rashford scored again. But other than that, I'm struggling for any positives. And at 3-0, it was the curtain half-closing on Solskjaer for me. Because when, I, when United get pumped by a rival in a derby, it's when there's sort of... It's the point of no return for the manager. Felt it with Moyes, felt it with, with Mourinho. Didn't feel it with Van Hal, to be fair. That was just him getting sacked at the end of the season by Woodward, despite winning the FA Cup. But United in that first half, it was men against boys. And it wasn't a surprise. United are just not good enough. And the thing about this is that we all have to get our heads around. And it's not about knee-jerk reactions to losing to rivals and then losing to Watford, but beating Spurs one week and then beating your rivals another week. It doesn't matter who our manager is. This cycle of horrendous football will continue and continue and continue until Ed Woodward and the Glazers are no longer in power at United. It doesn't matter who is in charge. Pochettino comes in, takes his squad, buys a few players. The same cycle will happen. And that is what makes me back Solskjaer. That is what makes me hate United at the moment because it is just a constant cycle of ups and downs, no matter who the manager is. And Solskjaer, again today, you've got to take some massive, massive blame, tactical deficiencies against the team and a manager who are clearly superior. Would it have made the difference if everybody was fit? McTominay in that team, Popper in that team, Martial ready to start? Absolutely. We would have been better from the first whistle. But <laughs> we're still nowhere near City. We are nowhere near Liverpool. Luckily, Spurs, Arsenal and Chelsea are going through their own problems at the moment. So the quality of the Premier League, aside from City and Liverpool, has gone down substantially enough that there is an opportunity for us to chase them. But we don't want to chase them. We want to chase the top spots. And that game there was just another indicator of how far away this United team is from those top spots. And it's not a case of getting angry, of getting point, of pointing fingers and saying Solskjaer out, because sacking him is not the solution, people. I hate to be the person that breaks it to you. But whoever comes in next, unless something changes from above, the same problems will still exist at United. And that's something that you just have to get your head around and have to realise. And maybe accept. And maybe that's why I'm not so against Solskjaer as, as some fans are. Understandably so, given a lot of the performances that we've seen this season. And that first half there against City was pretty much inex inexcusable. Horrendous, horrendous half, 3-0. As I said, it felt like the 6-1. Credit to United for turning it around, but at the same time, I think it was City taking their foot off the gas and giving us the opportunity to get back in the game. But going into the second leg at the Etihad, no United fan will go there with any positive vibes, saying, you know what, we can go and do it against the MXYZ. It's a cross your heart and pray sort of game. It's not like 2010 where we were 2-1 down at the Etihad. We came back and we won 3-1 and Rooney scored an injury time winner. This is a different United. This is a different City. And that City schooled us in that first half. It was a painful, painful half to watch. 
improved in the second, but not not enough to come back in the game enough to turn it around to 3-3 three, three or 4-3. Three. No, 3-1 three, to City. United go to the Etihad needing two goals without response to reach the final. And it's not a surprising game. And that, for me, is why you can't be too pissed off with it. Because we all saw it coming. But at the same time, that's probably what makes it worse. Let me know what your match reaction is to that in the comments below. But City 3-1, it could have been a lot worse. But it was bad. It really was bad.